Our brilliant winner, Delphine, is on a journey to find out how her poem will become an amazing animated film. Our first stop is a trip to the people who bring her poem to life. World famous animators, Ardman Studios. I think they're filming. They are going to run. But before we get to business, there's just time for an Access All Areas backstage tour. Whoa, this looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I can't believe the access that we're getting. No one else gets to see any of this. Yeah, I think they're doing a stop motion animation. They move it about half an inch every time and take a photo. How do you know so much and why is it so exciting to you? I like animation. I like making clay models like stop motion. Oh my gosh, so basically we picked the perfect competition winner, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> A team of talented animators have been hard at work creating the world that Delphine has imagined in her poem. And one of those creative people is the director of the film, Orsa. How did you change my words from my poem into um, an animation? First, I need to kind of establish the world and how it looks like so we understand that we're in the future. So once I have worked out an idea about the film and how I want it to look like, I start to rough out really quickly these thumbnails of the character and where the character sits in the scene. And here on this screen, you can see how I started designing Delphin, which is you. <laughs> what do you think? That's the first time seeing it. I think it's really cool. That's a relief. Yes, <laughs> we're on the right track. <laughs> do you want to have a go? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> OK. I think I'm going to draw the girl from the anime. Delphine may have provided the script, but also wants her to help bring it to life with some sound effects. What we're looking for is a few gasps, like, <gasps> OK. I think first, let's try some happy gasps. <gasps> yeah, those are really nice. And it's not just the sound effects. Orsa wants to take Delphine's involvement to the next level. Since these are her words, it's only right that Delphine delivers the final lines in the film. Really <laughs> professional. In 2021, they're not figments for girls' imagination. We must protect them where we can for future generations. It was really good, but let's do a few more takes. Delphine has worked very, very hard to make her words truly inspiring, and the job of this film is to motivate people into action. Now, we've got the words, we've got the pictures, but we need the music. And if we want the world to take notice, we need something big. Maybe something as big as the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. Do you think the music fits with your poem? Definitely. I was watching the screen, it goes really well. Delphine, we've had a, quite an incredible experience, haven't we? Oh, I think it's the best day of my life. The best day of your life, yes! I had no idea what it was going to turn into and what a huge, huge deal it is to be making a film that's going to be shown in front of all of these world leaders at COP26. And to be honest, it still hasn't sunk in. Huge doesn't even cover it, as over 100 world leaders and thousands of visitors from all over the globe are arriving in Glasgow to discuss the climate crisis. The conference is well underway, and thanks to Delphine and her orange badge, we're invited to rub shoulders with the world leaders at the opening ceremony. OK, Delphine, it's time for the premiere of your film. Yeah. Are you ready to blow some minds? Definitely. Let's go. Front row seats. The film you're about to see brings to life the winning story written by Delphine, who has joined us here at the ceremony today. Delphine was a girl born in 2099. One day, her gran gave her a book, heavy with a spine. There were photographs of creatures she'd never, ever seen. What are they, gran, these animals? What does this all mean? Gran sighed. Many years ago, they roamed the earth and seas. But we bulldozed their homes and burnt down their trees. We put plastic in their oceans and greenhouse gases in the sky. But why did you let them, Gran? Why, oh why, oh why? I was just a child, she said. I shouted, no one took heed. Businessmen wanted money. 
it was nothing more than greed. That night, Delphine read on and on, and her eyes grew bigger and wider. And when she fell asleep, the creatures came to life inside her. A giant cat with golden stripes and glowing orange eyes. A candy floss pink bird taking off across the skies. A funny little lizard with color changing skin. Some speedy silver fish with spikes upon their fins. When the sun came up, the menagerie faded away and Delphine's heart felt heavy in the cold gray light of day. Do you recognize them, dear readers of this tale? In 2021, they're not figments for girls' imagination. We must protect them where we can for future generations. How was that? Your film just got premiered in front of all of the world leaders. That was amazing. Wasn't it unbelievable? And that round of applause yeah. you got as well. Did the film live up to what you wrote down on paper? I think it's everything and more. You should be so, so proud of yourself because your film premiered in front of all of those world leaders to help save our planet. How does that make you feel? Excited and happy.